Hi guys, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, what are y'all's names? Genevieve. Nice Genevieve. Nice Genevieve. Ariba. Ariba. Ashley. 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 I'm Chantal. Nice to meet you guys. I know my my other half is on his way here. <laughs> Always late. <laughs> So what drew you to this project? Um, well, what drew me to it initially was that Ron Moore was writing and producing and Apple. And so knowing those two forces, and that was a no-brainer. But more than that, the material was phenomenal. Uh, I, I booked it on a Friday and I started on a Monday. Wow. Awesome. And uh, I said I was like cramming, cramming for an SAT of historical events and deciding character um, and what a whirlwind and it was kind of great though because I felt like I didn't quite have a grasp on who Karen was and what I was even doing and what was happening and where we start off the story that's exactly where she was so I got really lucky <laughs> and uh, you know I could could use all of that um, you know in in the role of, of playing an astronaut's wife, which is, yes, what, if you have to label it, what she is. Um, it's so much more than that, but uh, there's, there's no stability or certainty. And so I just tried to use every bit of the whirlwind and infuse that into uh, beginning a project of this magnitude that I still don't. I think I've grasped and understood. <laughs> so who's playing your husband? Joel Kinnaman. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that then? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not mm -hmm. here to plug, plug himself. Um, so Joel Kinnaman uh, plays Edward Baldwin, uh, and he's uh, an astronaut. And their characters are loosely based on different stories, but no particular person. Um, and I, I, I always say that in the beginning, you think of Edward and Karen as like these, this marble statue of like perfection, like the typical astronaut, the typical wife. And slowly, as the story unfolds and as Ron so beautifully crafts emotional, heartbreaking things, um, you know, we see the cracks and we see things start to crumble and eventually shatter. And the challenge is. I don't even think I understood what being an astronaut's wife is. I think we all have assumptions. And especially for women in that day and age, we, we make a lot of assumptions, but some of them found such reward in, in doing that job. And me as a modern woman, I didn't understand it at first with Karen. I didn't like it because it's not something I, I relate to, not something I, I maybe typically want. And that was such a, a wonderful challenge to take on. Um, was finding ways to accept and like and empathize even. Yeah. Um, with, you know, you've done all kinds of characters. Yeah. Like One Tree Hill is my favorite. Oh, thank you. So excited Thanks. To you. How do you compare, like, you know, this is a very dynamic role. Oh, and you could never it. compare the two. <laughs> um, I mean, I, yeah, there's no way There's no way to compare. I mean, I, I did One Tree Hill almost 12 years ago, yeah. 10 years ago, something like that. Um, and, and you know that each job we do is like you take one more step up on a ladder and you're just evolving and figuring it all out and I'm so grateful for every experience I've ever had but this was one of the most challenging and rewarding experiences of my life to tell a bigger broader story of overcoming and of loss and out of loss I mean it's truly it's for each character but also for the world like losing the moon and, and not winning and then overcoming and learning ways to like even even make quicker progressions or better choices was such an interesting exploration and they do it for each character and the overall story and to be honest I pray and hope that even though we're grounded in in the past that we use some of it in our modern times to learn from and be inspired by yeah some of the other Started, you got it, start, took it on a Friday, yep. started on Monday. Did you see any scripts? Uh, no. I, I got, I mean, once I, once I booked it and we started on Monday, I had 
fittings, meetings, table read, and I started shooting that following Friday. So I literally had one week with the material, and um, you know, it was a whirlwind. But but also, I have the best people behind me that would never let me fall or fail. Um, well, that's not true. I probably will fail on my own sometimes. But even in those moments, you know, you just you rise above and you overcome and you fight through. And and it it's. Uh, it's a really special story with characters that I think everybody is going to watch and find somebody that they can connect with and hopefully walk away inspired. Thank so. you. Of course. Thank, Thank you, so you guys much. so much.